Hey, hello. Is that one person is waiting? Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? It said one person is waiting. Whoops. That's you. Oh, no problem. I just <clears throat> stepped in the way. Epic backdrop, man. Yeah, I just recorded it for Zoom. But unfortunately, it's only usable in Zoom. I oh, is it, is it moving? Is it, it like a GIF? Uh, Sorry? Is it like a GIF? No, it's is an it MP4. Now? GIF or GIF? It's an MP4. You can see it's like animating a bit. Oh, it's a video. Nice. So I, I have no idea how to get it to work in like Google Meet and all that. You know? Uh, I think you need another screen to put behind you. Yeah, but... <laughs> you need the software to do it, right? Or use OBS maybe, I don't know. Yeah, OBS will probably work, but I don't know how. To... I mean, you can do it for offline recording, but you can't do it for a call, I guess. Right. Okay, I'm, so how's the audio? Stuff. Is it clear? Huh? Uh, is the audio clear? Because I'm not using a headphone, so I'm a bit worried if it might kind of get feedback. There's no feedback, right? Uh, no, how about me? Is it echo, 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 echo? No, no echo from my side. <laughs> awesome. Yes, sir. I'm Jack from Jack Review Stuff. And today we have Jeremy Chu from Box Studios. Yay! It's weird, there's no audience. <laughs> so tell me about this Box Studio. What is, what is it? And are you the boss? You're the boss, uh, right? Yeah, it's actually a game, nice. video game development company. Uh, we started in Penang, actually. Yay, um, Penang. So are you, are you a Penang guy or? Sorry? Are you a Penang guy or a KL guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually a Penang guy. I'm actually a Bukit Metajam guy. My wife is actually from Penang. So... After college, I actually lived in Penang for the entire duration until I moved down here. Always wanted to go back to Penang. So our first our first office is actually in Gurney Plaza. You know, Gurney Plaza, Gurney Hotel. Uh, yeah, Gurney Hotel. That's all. Gurney Plaza. So that was back in 2009, I guess. Yeah. What, one stop with Gurney Plaza? Gurney Hotel. Oh, Gurney Hotel. Oh, yeah, there. upstairs of Subway and all that. Not not bad, not bad. Nice. So yeah, we're very much Penang at heart. But uh it was a bit hard to continue doing uh in Penang because it's very hard to find talent. So yeah. So this is the what this is Jeremy's social media. You prefer I show this one or I show this one? Uh yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah, go, go go and like the page and, and, and subscribe to the social media. Okay, yeah, what's but, special, right, is that there's a new game. What's it called? I don't want to pronounce it wrong. It has uh, like Eximus, an so something. you can go to Eximia's Facebook page, actually. There's, uh, you there's have your like, own page for that yeah. game? Okay, the, how's it spelled? Spell? Spell? Eximia's e -X, X E X I M I U S E X I M I U S Yep, Eximia's is the front line, second one. So uh, there's a lot more content here. So, can... so this game is new, right? Eh? Yeah, it's not new, new, but uh, we are. Yeah, we are like... going to launch <laughs> 1.0 this year. So we so that, that's your latest game. game. It's your latest uh, project, basically. Yeah. So. So can you tell us about this game? Because I I only play Overwatch, so I don't have to play this. It's a bit confusing for me. Oh okay. So I guess you play Overwatch. I don't know. Overwatch looks complicated to me. <laughs> Uh, so, it's basically quite similar in terms of the structure. It's a 5 versus 5 kind of game. Except that one of the players actually plays a bit like a real-time strategy. Have you played any real-time oh, strategy? One of, the, one of the players. Yeah. I, I play Command and Conquer. Does that count? Yeah, so... It's something like that, but I guess it will be closer to Company Heroes. Command and Conquer is more macro. You have like a battle between 20 tanks versus 30 tanks versus hundreds of units. Whereas well, in games like... Starcraft, Starcraft Heroes, 2 is awesome. Sorry? Not, not like StarCraft. Yeah, StarCraft is also a lot of units, but I would say more towards Company of Heroes where it's a bit more micro. You have a bit less unit. The quality of the unit is higher, but less quantity. So uh, one of the players will be playing similar to uh, RTS style gameplay. So that player will be supporting the ground troops. So you have five players in the field, very much like Overwatch. Everybody has their role. You can pick a battle suit to get different abilities. Uh, and one of the players will be building the base and supporting the uh, players on the ground. So the Can players on the ground will be... Sorry? Can you pause the game if you want to banjo or how? Just sorry? hold it in. Can you pause the game if you want to banjo or what? <laughs> or you just hold it in? Uh, it. Well, like, can you pause in Overwatch? No, but every time, like, end of the round, there's like one minute where you run to... 
I guess that's similar. How long is one round? Like five la. minutes or? Yeah, I guess that's the same lah. I mean, of like all online games, I I don't think you can pause because you're waiting for other people, right? So, I mean, is the, is the game is like five minutes, is it? Per uh, session? No, or? the game is. I would say. Similar to maybe Dota kind of duration. 20, so you better all punch or eat first everything now. Yeah. How long is an Overwatch match, by the way? I'm just uh, if, if you do really badly, it can end in like 10 minutes. If yeah, both it's are like very good, it'd be like half an hour non-stop. Like, oh wait, uh, one, one, two, two, three, three. I think there was a game just now when we were playing with the community. It was like less than 10 minutes. They got just they just got steamrolled, I think, yesterday as well. So it really depends on how well one team is doing. But I yeah, guess, I, watched it, I watched it on, what's it called? Twitch, is it? Yeah, we were, we were streaming on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So oh. later you give me the link and I'll put the link in the description, the Twitch link. You don't, sure. you don't do YouTube streaming, right? It's just Twitch. Yeah, we have YouTube as well. Even on Facebook as well. If you click videos, you can see oh. yesterday's stream. Okay, then my link, you send me all the links later, I'll put it in the description. Sure. <laughs> So it actually it looks pretty good. I, I don't think I will play I will play it myself, but I do like watching games. And now last time like, you have to like sit go to your friend's house to watch. Now there's like streaming, so it's so, okay, you know. You can like relax yeah. at home and watch people play. And then you need to go to your friend's house and watch if you don't have the game. Or you don't even have the machine. <laughs> actually nowadays it's quite weird to go to your friend's house, right? Like when we come to my house. <laughs> we go yeah. cyber here for that. Well, but right right now it's like don't even come to my house. Okay, MCO. Oh, something very <laughs> weird. Like in Malaysian culture, maybe Taiwan also, we have cyber cafes. In the right. UK, there's cyber cafes, no graphics card one. I went to a cyber pub. Okay, it was pretty awesome. There's like a huge screen front and five PCs. And that's it. Yeah. Six, it? Uh, five computers in the whole pub. And that's like the, you see the Facebook page like, wow, this is like UK's first bigger cyber pub has like six computers. It's like they really wow. like don't, don't cyber games there. It's really everyone work from home. Or play from home. Yeah. I guess computers are cheaper there. How does here, it here, work? Like, machines. I guess if like because the county is so big, if you spend like five pounds an hour, it's you might as well just buy your own computer, right? Yeah. <laughs> here, like, five, two, 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 an hour, okay la. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Like, three pounds are like oh, okay. It's much cheaper there in, in proportion. Huh? Yeah, it's, I mean machines are much cheaper in proportion elsewhere. So do do cyber cafes in in Penang or Malaysia have this game yet or? Oh no, definitely no. Like like cyber cafes don't really work well with this kind of games nowadays because uh I, I, I don't know, I'm not really in the zone, but I guess uh right now for Steam games and all this you need a separate license for Cyber Cafe. So this is a Steam uh, game, uh? Yeah, this is gonna be on Steam. Also another thing is that uh I don't I don't know much about how would you transfer your profile in Cyber Cafe. In fact I don't even know what games do people play in Cyber Cafe nowadays. I guess you would probably need to tell me that. I mean, I mean, it looks like not too high requirements. What's the minimum system spec for this? Uh, seven sixty. I guess I, I have an AMD APU. Uh, three, I don't think it's gonna run. Zero, no. I I really don't think it's gonna. But run. I I hear soon they're gonna have a four seven zero zero G. It's like a Ryzen seven APU. That one I'm hoping. Yeah, I guess a mid range a mid range graphic card five years ago would even work. Like a seven sixty is a twenty sixteen twenty fifteen card. It, it will work perfectly fine. I mean, uh, in low settings, uh, but uh, I guess if you want to play at 60 FPS, you will need maybe 1070 or 1080 or something. Uh, 2060 will work as well. Is there any promo going on now or how, how much is this game? Uh, there's no promo yet. Probably until the launch, we will probably do a launch sale. No promises, but uh, we are... Uh, so it's not launched yet. When's the launching? So it is, if you consider it's early access, then yeah, it is launched, but... Uh, we are going to like launch launch 1.0 somewhere end of this year around october november ish this is very interesting news guys for the, for those of you watching this game i recommend you buy it right now for early access how often okay do you get the chance to actually play with the the ceo of the company you're the, you're the ceo right so yeah. you're you're playing with the others so basically if, if you join now you chance that you'll see him in the game itself and everything yeah, that's like, super play. awesome yeah, the developers will play once a week in a PvP fest, we call it, where we get all the community players to come. Yeah, how together. awesome is that? So we have like a mess of the best. Online. That's super awesome. Yeah. It's worth enough to, just for that also. Right. Because right now, there's not a lot of players, so it's more, it's more of a closed session. We have about 900 old people in our Discord. And oh, okay. That's quite a lot. Of players there. Oh, so Discord? We, yeah, we are on Actual Discord. players? Sorry? Actual players? Uh... Not all of them own the game. Some of them just want to follow us. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to play, but I want to watch. 
Yeah, same thing lah. So sometimes they just want to chat about it or they just want to post memes. So <laughs> yeah, we, we are on discord.gg slash studio. So feel free to drop in. We are on a verified server as well. So nice. you have Reddit? Oh. Yeah. Do you have a Reddit uh, as well? No, we don't have a Reddit. Uh, Reddit is a bit of a... Yeah, to be honest, Reddit is nice, but we don't have someone to manage it for us. Okay. And anyone who wants to volunteer, just like drop, leave a comment here. <laughs> yeah, Reddit. Reddit yeah, is I'm nice, up, but bigger. you have to kind of really build your niche because it's not easy to build a community in Reddit. Yeah, it's bigger now. <laughs> I actually don't use Zoom that often. I, I bought the account and it's good that I can do a uh, recording. But now well, StreamYard is so much better. Huh? You bought Zoom? Yeah. And I, I was supposed to stop using it at the six, on last month, but I forgot. And you're like, okay, thank you for your payment. What? Okay, one more month to go. So I'm going to so cancel it after this. Zoom? I, I want to record for interview and stuff. I see. I was like, I was like very optimistic. Oh, I'm going to do interview every day. Everyone's like, we're going to interview? Uh, next week, can I? I'm like, okay. <laughs> right. Get everyone busy in MCO. Nice. Or playing the games. <laughs> Right, right. What's, what's, what's your favorite food? Yeah, let's talk about Penang. What's your favorite food? Uh, personally, I like chakwe tiao. Any chakwe tiao guy. My wife. Tiao, any chakwe tiao right. is good for me. Yeah. I ham my hair. Get it up, Chow. Where can my hair? Oh, I'm, I'm not going to make ham. I, I don't know why. <laughs> Did you eat the ham? Is, is it good? I'll have, dis- I'll have to disagree with her there. I actually don't eat ham before. What does it taste like? What is ham actually? I don't even know what it is. What is it? It's seafood, blood right? Cockles. Huh? It's called blood cockles. Is seafood smell or is it a bit? No, no it's, it's called it's called blood cockles. It's literally oh. spelled as blood cockles. B L. I don't really eat like seafood because it's got seafood smell. Like some yeah, prawns are okay, but I don't take the chance. I just don't eat it. Don't order. Well, yeah. I guess it's fine. It's pretty much fried and stuff, right? Ah. So I will order the extra dap chong and you just order normal one like with the ham and the yeah. hair and everything. Not a fan of lap chong. So Oh, okay. This is interesting. First person yeah. I ever meet that don't eat lap chong. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's sweet. It's just weird. This doesn't go well. How about silba? Silba is good. But uh, not in chakwita. But there's no silba in the chakwita, right? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> no, not the One day recommending it. Anyone that, that cooks chakwita here can put the, 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 the silba inside for us. That'll be good. Something different. That is a bit odd, but I don't mind trying out. I like new things. I also like Hokkien Mee without the, without the, the bihun. Just the Hokkien Mee. Just the meat. For, uh, for those of you in KL, Hokkien Mee is yellow in Penang. How it should be. I went, I I went to KL yeah. Sungai Wang. I'm like, Hokkien Mee, please. It's like black. I'm like, uh, is this fresh? And like, yeah, 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 of course it's fresh. I'm like, it's black. <laughs> I think I think the color is not the biggest confusion. The KL Hokkien Mee is a stir fry thing, whereas Penang Hokkien Mee is actually the soup based prawn mee. I think that's how we need to put it. Because everybody will think that it is the stir fried black color one. Oh yeah, that, that too. Yeah. How about coffee? What coffee do you like? I like this cafe coffee. This one is like it's minty. I have a I have a colleague, my friend, uh, our studio producer, he loves that. He always drinks that. But for me, I make my own coffee, so I, Make your own coffee. Okay, so what, what beans do you use? Do you like keep changing or do you have a favorite bean? A uh, little bit of shout out. I buy my beans from beanshipper.com. Is it a Malaysian company? For the sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I, I buy my beans from like different places. Uh. So right now I'm trying from like beanshipper.com. And... Is, is it from Malaysia? Is it a Malaysian company? I don't know whether the company is Malaysian or I'm not sure. But some but, of the beans are Malaysian. I but they're sponsoring you. Lah. It's, it's a, they're sponsoring they're definitely you. not sponsoring me. I, I wish they are. Maybe you can tag them in the video. And say uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got, got, please got, sponsor got... me and, and Jeremy for, for coffee. Yeah, beanshipper.com. <laughs> so, uh, they got pretty. They got some pretty good coffee and uh, they got Did very... Did they have freeze dried? Sorry? Did they have freeze dried? I'm quite lazy. Uh, no, I, I go for those. I go for the whole beans and then I grind it and make it myself. I like well, hand coffee. Yeah, I, I can't take regular coffee because it's very... Such a big difference. No, no, it's, I give it palpitation and it's like really oh, okay. strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the coffee you're drinking is actually stronger than the espresso because it's a... Yeah, it's pretty strong. I had like three today. <laughs> I'm feeling wired. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Also, at McDonald's. McDonald's open now, you know. The first day of MCO McDonald's, you can see my video. It's like I went there and I do the apps and everything. And then the girl was like, 
uh, afterwards, can you please clean your tray? I'm like, must clean your tray one. Uh, I thought McDonald's in Malaysia don't to clean one. In the UK, <laughs> if you go away, I want to stare at you like, here's like normal. Like, okay, you're clean your tray. You don't have to like clean. But it's so clean. I recommend going to McDonald's. It's like super hygiene. That's good there. I don't think our McDonald's is open. It is, I guess. I just told you I went today. Okay, oh, KL, you mean? I don't know whether it's open here or not. I don't know. I, the I, Penang one, yes. I went today. It's pretty good. It's all hygiene uh, and everything. I guess the uh, Phase 3, M- Phase 4 MCO, they just... CMCO. Yeah. It's like YMCA. <laughs> YMCO. Oh, yeah. So are you working from home or... What yeah, so right now the whole development team is working from home. We actually started working from home before the MCO because nice. it's just about 12 of us. And Keep la, do it before it was cool, right? Yeah, no, because we kind of uh, can sense that lockdown is happening. And we also, because we have about uh, maybe one third of our guys or about a quarter actually take public transport. So we don't want to put them in the risk because the cases was rising that time. And public transport uh, yeah. kind of put you in very high worst, risk. Yeah. yeah, so we started uh, phasing the people out. We told them to work from home, especially those who are uh, public transport. And then two days later, the announcement for MCO came in. So Good, so it's still in place already. Yeah. Do you, do you use any special like Google? Uh, am I allowed to ask, do you like use like Google collaboration, Google, Google Docs, or what sort of system do you use? I'm so curious. Sorry, what sort of what? Like from work from home, what system do you use? Do you use like Google Apps? Uh, what or system? Or what Microsoft like? Collaboration? Or? We, we use a lot of things. So, uh, in, in specific to what? I don't know, like collaboration. What, what collaboration do tools. Uh. So, uh, of the obvious things are like Google Drive or that. We, we, are, we are Google Suite user. So oh, you are already. La. So, it's like yeah. Zoom meeting, everything. Yeah, we use Google Meet, uh, but our main development center is still Discord. So we use Discord for our regular chat. We also use Trello bot. Uh, Trello is a very good productivity tool. You know about Trello? Uh, not really. What to do? T-R-E-L-L-O. It's like a, it's like a bot thing. Sounds familiar. I don't know how to explain. It's like I a bot there's thing. More, there's one more thing where you can like rent a server. I mean, you rent a computer online and like you can build it yourself and like just play for how many hours a, a month. What's it called? Uh, Linus was like promoting it last month. Uh, what, what do you use it for, man? I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it, I'll put the link in the description like, when I remember. Basically, it's a software where you can run stuff on your PS4 and watch on your TV. But also, you can like rent a computer and like you say, I want a GTX 2080 or I want a GTX 1050 to save money and like how much oh, RAM, like, virtual machine. Yeah. We, have, we have those hardware locally, so we don't need it. Oh, okay, oh, like, just get ready. Our- all our machines are okay, like uh, decent machines. Uh, so we probably won't be renting. But we, we are we are renting obviously for the game servers, uh, but for our production wise we use our own machines. So is it like oh, okay, that's that's cool. O- always good to know when people say I work from home, like what's it mean, right? It could be anything. So like okay, using Google Google Suite. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a it's a whole bunch of collaboration tools. Google Suite, the regular hard disk thing, and we also set up our own SVN servers and things like that. You see. Yep. Good, good. Yeah, so guys, uh, try. Do you have like a tryout thing, or does, does Steam have like a does Steam do like a system where you can like try out for twenty four hours? Or okay, Steam has always have the policy of you can always refund the game that you don't want to play if you don't have a two hours play time and the two weeks. Uh, it's either two weeks from purchase or two hours play time, whichever comes first. So essentially, everything on Steam is a try, and you can refund if you don't want. But if you keep abusing it, then, uh. I, I don't know lah. <laughs> Bad things will happen to you. But uh, generally, you can always try the game. If you don't like, you can refund. We are okay with it. But uh, I think the best way to understand the game is you don't even need to download and play. Just watch the stream. We are not doctoring the footage. What you see is what you get. Very, very direct. Talk to the community if you feel comfortable. When is the streaming again? Uh, we stream every Monday, 11 a.m. Our time, which is US 11 EST. Uh, or Saturday night uh, for Europe side, but it's random uh, Saturday night sometimes. Yeah, so basically on Monday, Monday or Sunday is a good, good time to go stream and buy the game and then next day you can like play with the others. Like, like practice like at night and then next day practice with the others, get a community, have to like in the community and whatever, learn to play. <laughs> if you want to try it, we are actually participating in a... But this might make it a bit specific uh, in uh, this event. No, for me, not for the viewers. 
yeah, for the viewers, uh, if you want to try, uh, there's this event coming called Bit Summit. Bit Summit Gaiden, I think. Uh, link in the description, I can show you. Uh, we are actually setting up a demo of the game with them. So it's like a digital uh, online event where a group nice. of kids get to participate and we are one of the company. And then uh, you can have like a single player demo of the game. Right, so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep, yep, it's a link Gaiden. So, yeah, we won't be making any specific demos that are on online, but this will be an offline demo. Any other shout outs or things you want to say to the, the fans and everything of your game? Uh, who are your audiences normally? <laughs> uh, I don't know, randomly people, random people. Everything on my channel is random. Yeah, are you got a pretty good, interesting channel that you have like everything from it. So I, I guess no much shout out. Lah. I mean, uh, it's just that, uh, I mean, if, if Malaysians are watching this, this is, uh, we don't have a lot of uh, video games developed in Malaysia. So this is one of the locally, locally made titles. So I'm not saying you need to buy it, but uh, you can be aware of it, share with your friends, uh, talk about it. Uh, oh, Malaysia. It's, yep, it's made in Malaysia, started from Penang. Yay, Penang. Penang, Penang. I guess maybe one day we will move back to Penang. But uh, it's interesting because we, uh, we are very close to the ground in terms of communicating with the community. So if you have the game and you're part of the community, you can always uh, participate in the development of the game. Like the, the game that we're building during early access is very much community driven. We have community offering suggestions, uh, having discussions, and the game kind of uh, evolved together with the community in the last two years. So I think we are in a very good shape to launch the game now, which is uh, something that we and the community like to see. So yeah, this is our development style. That I think it's nice. quite unique. Okay, I'm gonna do a print screen, like a like a, like a photo, like a print screen. Uh, three, two, one. We got it. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Stay safe. All right. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> yay.